Engineering NYC, and today we'll talk about metrics in Clavio. First, let's go to your Clavio account, and on the left side, you will see the metrics. So here you will see all integration, as you can see, show all integration, and also you can filter by different kind of integration, let's say uh, only Shopify integration or only MailChimp integration, or you can show all of them. So like those all metrics you can use to either trigger your emails or uh, pull information from all those metrics so let's uh, let's see you know, and when you click on each integration you can see uh, more detailed data let's say placed order placed order so when we click on the placed order it'll, it'll show you a graph of uh, the last month for the last month and by the way you can ch change those days and you can see how many orders were made daily and uh, you can do weekly as well as monthly uh, since this is a one month you can see that the uh, number of orders dropped from 859 to uh, for, for for three orders because today is only the second um okay so january yep so the next next thing, this is activity feed. So you can see the latest activity. So this person ordered 28 minutes ago, the next person about an hour ago, the, the next one two hours ago, and so forth. So this is... <clears throat> This is activity feed for that specific metric, in which case it's place order. So the next one is a cohorts. Honestly, like I'm, I'm probably the the worst person to explain this, but this is shows you how, like in relationship um, retention of your customers when they opt in, when they place their first order, and number of months. Um, I mean. It, just just google this and <laughs> there are more people this is more an analytical part but i'm not sure if you need this but if you big e-commerce store or store you might need this to figure out like uh, the retention of your customers and the best people it it shows you it shows you how many order they made and the value so it combines both values because for example uh here you have six orders and only one sixteen, so it does not count only value, but both like how many orders they place plus the value of the order. Because in this case, there's only four orders and the amount two sixty six, which is higher, much higher than one one sixteen. But this person placed six orders and that person is a placed um, four orders. Uh, why it's useful you can use this data to create your ideal avatar on or you can see how often people order from you like you can pull that information to create like win back or yeah we bet we win back campaigns or maybe some follow-ups or something else like uh yeah so this is this is how to see metric and specific information information per each metric in clavio thank you for watching this video if you like this video please click like button below please comment below and let me know what other videos you would like to see on this youtube channel also if you are not subscribed yet click subscribe button below and click on the bell button to receive notifications when we release new video we release new tutorial every day and educational video every thursday